Hi all, welcome back to my channel. I hope you guys are doing good. Today I am going to discuss about push tool that is pressure ulcer scale for healing. Let's see about that in detail. Push tool is pressure ulcer scale for healing. This tool is mainly used to measure the healing status of the pressure ulcer over time. Whereas Braden scale is used to assess the risk of bed sore. Okay, so if the skin is intact, we are assessing the skin integrity by using the Braden scale in order to rule out the chance of getting bed sore. But once bed sore occur, you are supposed to use push tool because this is the measuring tool used to assess the healing status of the pressure ulcer. Push tool, pressure ulcer scale for healing tool is a fast and accurate tool used to measure the status of pressure ulcer over time. The tool was designed by National Pressure Ulcer Advisory Panel that is NPUAP in the year 1997. So this tool is mainly to assess the healing status of the pressure ulcer. Let's see about the components of push tool. It has three components. The first one is scoring tool. The second one is healing record and the third one is healing graph. We will see each component in detail in the following slides. So this is the scoring tool. Here again three things we need to note. First one is length and width of the pressure ulcer. So we have to measure the length of the pressure ulcer as well as the width of the pressure ulcer and you will get an answer here. Then you have to compare this. The main score ranges from 0 to 10. For example, your answer is 15. Then you have to see here. So 15 lies between 12.1 to 24.0. So you have to give a main score of 9. The second one is exudate amount. So here also, if there is no exudate, no drain, you will give a score of 0. If there is light exudate, you have to give a score of 1. If it is moderate, the score should be 2. And if it is heavy, the score should be 3. And the last one is tissue type. So if the wound is closed, you can give a score of 0. If you note epithelialization, then you can give a score of 1. If there is granulation tissues, you will give a score of 2. Slough tissues noted, you will give a score of 3 and if it is necrotic, then the score should be 4. So let us see how to measure the length and width of the pressure ulcer. So always you have to use a clock method to measure the length and width of the pressure ulcer. As you can see here, this is 12.6 and this one is 3.9. You can see here. 12.6 and 3.9. So always the head part will be 12. Okay, so 12.6 will be considered as your length and 3 to 9 will be considered as your width. For example, length is 3 cm, that is 12 to 6, and width is 5 cm, that is 3.9. Okay. So now I am multiplying length into width and my answer is 3 into 5 is equal to 15 centimeters square and your subscore is 9. Already I have explained this in the previous slide. And this is the scale, wound measuring scale we are using. So either you can use Q-tips to measure this one or else you can use the wound measuring scale directly and it should be a disposable one. The second thing is exudate. Exudate means discharge or drain from the wound. So if there is no drain, no discharge, you can notice here almost it looks dry. If this is the condition, then you can give a score of zero. In the second picture, you can see there is mild drain noted or mild discharge. So your score should be one. And here, the drain amount is moderate, so you can give a score of 2. In the next picture, it is heavy. You can see here, okay? If the drain is more or heavy, 
you can give a score of 3. Let's move on to tissue type. So here in the first picture you can see closed wound. So if the wound is closed you can give a score of 0. In the second picture you can notice epithelial tissue which is the surrounding tissue. It will cover the whole open wound and end up in healing of the pressure ulcer. So if you notice epithelialization you can give a score of 1. And the second one is granulation tissue. So granulation tissue means formation of connective tissues and blood vessels. So you can give a score of 2. Suppose if you see both epithelial tissues as well as granulation tissues always go for a score of 2. The next one is slough. As you all know you can notice here some cheesy like structure noted in the center of the wound. So if you notice slough in the wound you can give a score of 3. And the last one is necrotic tissue that is black leathery type tissue. If you notice this you should give a score of 4 and they may go for debridement. I hope now you got an idea how to use the scoring tool. So here the first one length into width I got 15 cm square that will lie between this and my subscore is 9. And in the exudate amount I noticed heavy exudate so I gave a score of 3. And the last one tissue type I noticed slough in the wound so I gave a score of 3. Healing record is the second component of push tool. This is the place where we will document. First one is date. So you have to mention the date when you are documenting. Length into width. I got a subscore of 9. So I mentioned here 9. Exudate amount. As it was heavy exudate. I gave a score of 3. Tissue type. I noticed slough tissue. So I gave a score of 3. Now total push score is 15. That is 9 plus 3 plus 3 is equal to 15. The ideal way of documentation is every week. Especially if the patient is a prolonged bedridden patient. In case if the patient is staying in the hospital for a short period, then every two days it can be documented. But here it's been documented on weekly basis. Healing graph is the third component of push tool. So here you can see 17 is the maximum score. As it comes down 0 which represents healed wound. And here you can mention the date. So here it's been plotted on weekly basis. The first column is first week. The second column is the second week. And the next one is the third week. So in the first week I got a score of 15. So I plotted here. In the next week I got a score of 12. So I plotted here. And in the third week I got a score of 9. So I plotted here. This graph will tell you exactly whether the wound is healing or not. Once the graph reached down to 0, that indicates the pressure ulcer is healed. In case, if you see the graph is not moving downwards, it is going straight or it is increasing upwards, that indicates there is something needs to be done. Some treatment needs to be changed in order to achieve wound healing. Thank you so much for watching this video. I hope this would be helpful for you guys. If you feel the same, kindly share this. Subscribe my channel. My channel name is Jebin Chine. And don't forget to press the bell icon button so that you will get the notifications whenever I am uploading new videos. And if you feel like some topics would be really helpful, kindly drop in my comment box so that 
it would be even helpful for me to prepare the content and present next time. See you all again with one more interesting topic. Until then, it's bye from Jebin. Bye-bye. Take care.